Early on, police outnumbered protesters, but later the crowds grew. These are supporters of Prabowo Subianto, who ran against President Joko Widodo in last month's presidential election and the previous one. They cheated on us in 2014. We don't want it to happen again. Enough is enough. Getting justice through the courts is impossible with the government we have, so we come here. We don't care about our safety. We are prepared to give our lives. Just like the day before, on Wednesday, the protests turned violent as night fell. Fireworks and other objects were thrown at the police, who fired tear gas and water cannon. Police say they have arrested dozens of people. I would like to say the series of events that we saw earlier today is not a spontaneous incident, but it is an incident by design, a set-up incident. As protests spread to at least two other cities, President Joko Widodo has called for calm, but also issued a warning. I will work together with anyone to advance this country but I will not tolerate anyone who disrupts the security, democratic processes and unity of our beloved nation. Prabowo has refused to accept the election outcome and has urged his supporters to demonstrate against it. I urge all parties, the police, the military and all relevant parties to refrain themselves and avoid violence as they express their aspirations. These protests started on Tuesday afternoon, shortly after President Joko Widodo delivered his victory speech. And they're likely to continue into Friday, which is when we expect Prabowo Subianto, who lost the presidential election, to file a complaint with the Constitutional Court, challenging the election outcome. The city remains on edge, with parts of it under lockdown. 50,000 police and military personnel have been put on duty as protesters show no sign of giving in. Florence Louis, Al Jazeera, Jakarta.